I never wanted to think people were born evil, but my opinion about that changed when I met Ted. After Bundy's second breakout from a maximum security prison, law enforcement across the country was on full alert. A few weeks later, when two sorority girls were killed in Tallahassee... Bundy has been convicted of three murders, confessed to a dozen more, and is still a suspect in another two dozen. Well, like he told me, he killed more than 100 people. I think he was born to kill. Hey guys, Ghost Vlogs here with Patrick from The Haunted Side. We are here to investigate the world's most notorious serial killer ever, Ted Bundy's lair. Can the infrared see it? So the house was built like up there and this is just the remains of the mm -hmm. cellar? Yeah, you can still see the foundation of the house. Can you get into the cellar? Yes. And oh, there's a Wait a second. So you can go actually into the into the yes. cellar. Oh, this is you can go into the cellar. Hell. This is where he held one of his victims and the woman was cut her arms and her legs were cut and you raped her and murdered her in the cellar in this exact location Ex yes holy shit and of course today we have people that come and mess around and tag 666 and did you see the pentagram yeah the goat head in here? look at that And look, that's like, that's like actual, like, r like ritualistic markings. Like that's not just somebody messing around being like, oh, let me paint a pentagram. That's like, mm -hmm. like opening a portal. That's, yeah, that looks like blood. Are you getting this? Yeah, that's blood. So there's definitely, it's been, I would say rituals in here. Yeah. Ugh, Should look, there's another pentagram on the other side of the other pentagram. Oh, that's a portal. Yeah, that's, definitely. That's, that's coming from both walls. That's opening like a interdimensional portal. Yes. And Should we do spirit box like out front and see if there's anything that's like trying to lure us in? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And remember, guys, he's a demonologist, so he knows all these facts. It, that's what. So that's what really scares me about this is that usually when you see graffiti like this, it would just be like, like I said, that's just somebody messing around. They drew a pentagram, but the ritualistic markings are in the exact like they're in like the precise locations that you would do to perform a ritual to open a portal to hell so that that millimeter was off and just to show you to turn it off you have to hold this button oh and the battery's dead what's dead did your battery die the millimeter's battery is like says critically low and it was brand new like brand new so far we had the battery drain and we're all feeling that heavy energy and like i was telling you earlier this spirit box i've actually modified it so i've removed all of the um antennas for the fm and the am so it pick, there's zero radio interference so if we capture a voice that comes through this it it would be by definition paranormal because there shouldn't be any radio signals at all so let's get it let's get it going is there anybody down there I feel like, don't you feel like yeah. it wants, like, I feel like it wants, I have it's like a magnetic feeling yeah. on this side, like, pulling, it, did you hear that? Yeah, is it me, or is it, I feel like that furnace is on. Did you just hear that? Did you just moan? You didn't hear that? I didn't, I was talking. I heard something. It was like a, whoo. That was creep. Let's go. You want to go? Yeah. Ladies first. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I always get that. 
Should I run the spirit box on the way down? No, I think just walk in there because I, I heard something with my own ears. Yeah. Ooh, gotta watch my girlish figure. <laughs> Trying to get into these, uh, these spots. Do you feel that? Yeah, I do. I got like pressure in my like temples right now. There's a, a homemade Ouija board. Yes, the alphabet. No one that's that. Use the energy from these devices, point six, right when I said that, drop them back down. Use the energy from here to speak through this. Yes. Temperature's rising. Ah, uh, it feels weird in here. Temperature's rising. It's gone up almost two degrees. Are you pulling on my hair? 42.8, 43 43.6, 44.6, 45.3, 45.7. Did you hear that? Yeah. The On bang. the other side, the right other here. The other side of the bang. Oh, this going back down. Is that you making noise? The drum beats. Yes, exactly. Could <laughs> have this been like a Native American? Area up in the canyons, maybe. Did you hear that? That sounded like a growl. Talk to us. Do you see that light? Did you see that? I saw light. It was like a shimmer. Yes, I saw the light over there. It was like a little speck of light, like a little ball. Look back to 30, 39. What was it? It was up to 46, 47. Yeah. So almost 10 degree difference right on this side of, of the wall. Can you come through this? Ugh. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear the whole, the whole fucking, fucking thing shook? Everything like, shook in here. Right when I asked that too. Did you hear that? Yeah, over there. What was that? Did you hear the whole, the whole fucking, fucking thing shook? Everything like, shook in here. Right when I asked that too. I started to feel I got chills. Do you have chills? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I started to feel. I got chills. Do you have chills? Yeah, right here. That was loud, dude. Yeah. Did you did That's you hear that out there? Choice. Yeah. Well, we can feel the vibration when you're moving in. Mm -hmm. It seriously felt like the whole thing just went like. Yes, the whole thing shook. Hold on, let's do. Let's, re let's record it. <sighs> Tell us your name. Who summoned you? Is this a portal? Were people murdered down here? How many people were killed here? Did you hear that? How many people were killed here? Did you hear that? There was something like right here. And I'm like perfectly still, like look. And it was like a 
I'm on this way today. Do you want me to pull out your mom meter? Sure. I don't know if I'm like tripping out or what. I keep hearing like, like not taps. Did you hear that? Was that you? No, that wasn't me. What the hell is happening right now? Jesus. <laughs> Let's plug this in. This is where we're at right now, just so you have record of it. 0, 0. .0. This will probably be pretty loud. <laughs> Tell us your name. What was that? What was yeah. that? Did what, you hear what? a moan? No, no, yeah. That wasn't that? you. No, no. Right when I fucking started it, dude. Went, uh, Listen. Yeah. I don't back. think that was you. Go back. What the mm -hmm. hell? Tell us your name. That's Tell not us me. Your name. I'm, I don't think that's you. Yeah, because you'd be like in bed or something. If yeah, you that. that, that <laughs> I summoned you. What comes out? Like someone lives deep down in there. If you can hear us, make a noise. I feel like it wants us to go down there. I know. Yeah. It wants us <clears throat> so bad down yeah. there. You need to go in there. It wants us so <coughs> bad down there, whatever it is. Well, I'll just Ugh. record from here. I just... <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys feel any wind over there? Um... Not really. I feel like a draft of air. I feel here. like there. I feel I hear noises over off to the left of here, but let's go down the hill. Tell us your name. Are you David? Yeah, I heard David. Is your name David? No. No, it's still in here. Who's down here? How many spirits are here? Five. Five? Five. Who's that? Business. Business is what I heard. Risky. Risky. Is this risky? Who was that? That was something. Is this risky? I'm going in. It's in. in. I'm going in. In. Rock. Walk. Walk. Do you like me in here? What was that? Are you making that noise? That's been point one. Yes. It said yes and this is going up. Look. See, and it's, it's going through stuff and there's nothing and then on command even. It's, it's Are you in between you and Patrick? Jim. Jim. Jim? Are you stuck here? Ooh, I feel a cold draft right here. It's really cold. That was the same voice over like a ton of sweets. Are you stuck in here? How can we help you? Do you want help? Medic. 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 It's a medic. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. What is your name? Do you want help? Medic. What are the chances of that? 
to look at that camera and show yourself. That's how you're going to help me escape. What did he do to you? Were you hurt down here? Are you tied up like I am right now? I need to know you're here. I need you to help me. That's how you're going to help me escape. Ah, I'm out. I'm done. Uh -uh. Nope, 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 nope. Can you grab the recorder? <laughs> If you're over there, can you make a noise? Did you hear that? Yeah, I sure did. That was like a hmm. It's a woman. Make a louder noise. 
please. Can you imagine how terrifying, how eerie it would be if you were actually tied up in there, right? Oh God. The street, the road, is that a new road or has that been there? It's been, right. it's been there, it's Immigration yeah, Canyon. It's been there for a long time. So up here in imagine road. being tied up in there and being able to hear cars, cars pass by, hear people that could help you and you're probably screaming with everything you have yeah. just to have somebody hear you. Yep. And it never ha and it never came. Can't. And it's not like a movie where like the hero busts in and is like, I got you. Yeah. yeah. No. Especially no, when it's, it's a full over. house. This is outside. Just think of how much pain that girl would have been in with all her limbs cut off. Oh dude, That's I can't messed up. I it's unbelievable, hearing. dude. She boom, don't have boom. nothing to yeah. take. Did you hear that? Yeah, like drums. The boom. It's boom. weird. Yeah. And That's another thing with with rituals is like having that percussive doom doom doom. Like subwoofer doom, effect. Doom yeah. doom doom doom. doom. You have nowhere to run now. I'm here. Who? Who are you? Point one. It just said 666. It did. It just said it. What does that number mean? Is that in red? Yeah. It said red. That was a full boat, like a full sentence. Scary. Scary. I don't know. Gotcha. What name is that up there? Tell me what name that is. Yeah. Yeah. What was that person's last name? He's here. He's here. Somebody. Did you hear that? Somebody. Tell us. Tell us who is here. Who's... Is somebody hurting you? Tell us. Tell me that man's name. Yeah. Did you hear Ted? Yeah. Ted? I heard Ted. Panic. Panic. You're not going to scare me. I'm not gonna panic. I'm here to help the people that you hurt. Die. What is this? Lim. Lim. Is it Lim? I said Lim. I heard Lim. What? My leg is like fucking hurting my right arm. here. At the same time. Yeah, my arm is like oh. weird. Huh? Like it was getting out of your leg. What is this? What, what are you pointing at? Ah. It's like something vibrating. Done, dude. Well, that was pretty interesting. 
was. We had so many voices on that spirit box. Unbelievable. I can't imagine how many like spirits were like trapped there or passing by or even possibly unmarked graves. And it was it was what was really compelling too is that when we were walking out to the to the location, not a single voice was coming through. We didn't hear anything. And even the first time that we ran the spirit box in there, no voices. We leave, run some EVP stuff, start feeling that weird energy, go back in, and uh, like a voice every 30 seconds. And some of them were just repetitive ones too, and yeah. scary ones. Yeah, it was the exact same voice saying, like intelligently answering questions. That's, that's pretty compelling stuff right there. I, I gotta go back. Yeah, definitely. I think the um, thing that stood out the most was the whole cellar moving like vibration from it it was crazy it literally felt like somebody just jumped on the top of it and i was standing on the top of it jumping and i didn't make no, that same sound down in there so mm -hmm. yeah that was that was pretty creepy and plus you getting touched on your back me getting touched on my rear end <laughs> well it did say limbs and then we both reacted oh, yeah. to it. it yeah you felt I your arm and i felt my leg and that was in the room where the lady got her arms and legs cut off while she was alive. That's insane. We need to do more of these investigations. We sure do. I think there's another collaboration coming soon. I know. We'll bring her out to Nevada. Go check out uh, Mackie Mansion or the Cigar Bar or the Washoe Club or something. We're definitely down. Because Nevada is pretty haunted. I heard. I can't wait to get my hands on that. <laughs> yeah, let's go anytime.